Get ready to explore Web3's finest networks such as Ethereum, Solana, Eclipse and others with the legendary Backpack Wallet. In this video, we'll be providing you with a complete beginner's guide on setting up a Backpack Wallet, funding it with Solana tokens and using it to enjoy the world of DeFi. Nonetheless, nothing in this video is financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet for extra security and always conduct your own research. Before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to support our channel and stay up to date with the latest crypto guides, reviews, news, technical analysis and so much more. Friends, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with the Backpack Wallet tutorial, of which we are currently on their website, backpack.app. We've also got their official X page, which is at Backpack. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding their wallet and even their possibility of an upcoming airdrop of which we'll provide you in the future. Now, you're going to have to turn on the notification bell on our YouTube channel in order to stay up to date with the backpack airdrop guide. However, the main purpose of this video is to very simply show you how to set up a backpack wallet. And therefore, if you would like to learn more about the Backpack Wallet, you can come straight onto the website and go into the Learn section of which you have a complete hub of education in the world of crypto. You can learn everything regarding the Backpack Wallet, you can learn everything regarding about crypto, Bitcoin, Solana, everything you need to know is on this website, which I think is fantastic. So guys, basically in order to get yourselves this wallet, you're going to have to come onto the website and once you're ready, all you need to do is very simply get the extension. And we are going to be using the Google Chrome extension of which you can see right here. Now, once you go over here, guys, you'll be able to see that it's got 900,000 users on the Chrome store. It's got a rating of 4.6 and we are now ready to add this extension. So once you are ready, guys, you're going to go into the top right corner and click the add to Brave or whichever extension you are using. Once you've done that, you just click add extension. And as you can see, my friends, it's going to load up in the top right corner and voila, backpack has been added to Brave. So what we can do is if you go up into the top right corner, guys, you can see that we've got the Hashpack wallet, Phantom, Metamask, Sui and so on. But we want to add another wallet because we've just set up the Backpack wallet and we just want to now pin it so it's easier to get into whenever we want to use it. So now, guys, you can see that we've got the Backpack wallet up top and you can just drag it in order of importance. So let's just say we drag it to the front because that is the wallet that we are going to be focusing on in this video. As you can see here, we are now ready to set up a Backpack wallet. Therefore, as you can see, once we begin, my friends, we are prompted to set up either a new wallet or import an existing wallet. And here, guys, there's also a referral code, which is optional. So if you have a referral code by any chance, and if I'm able to get you one, I will leave one in the description down below. If not, of course, it's completely unnecessary and you don't need to use it. However, what we're going to be doing in this video is creating a brand new wallet. If you already have a Solana wallet or an Ethereum wallet of some kind, you can import your existing wallet into the backpack wallet. But as we are here to set up a brand new wallet, we are going to go with this option here where it says create a new wallet. Now, here guys, it says select the networks that you are going to be using. And like I said, you can use the most popular networks on this wallet, including Solana, Eclipse, Ethereum, Polygon, and so on. Now, they are going to be adding more networks in the future, my friends. However, these are four large networks that we can add right now. So my friends, I'm going to very simply start with Solana just to begin with. Now, as you can see here, it is prompting us with a secret recovery phrase warning. And it is very important that we follow the strictest security measures when setting up a new wallet and setting up a seed phrase. So on the next page, you will receive your secret recovery phrase. This is the only way to recover your account if you lose access to your device or your password. Write it down, store it in a safe place and never share it with anyone. It should also say guys never to store it online. And what I mean by this guys is that you should never store it on any digital device. You should never store it on an email. Anything that is powered by electricity or the internet is a no go. Guys, please keep it far away from anything electronical. Please make sure that it's written down on a physical piece of paper or a steel sheet. Guys, this is extremely important and I really urge you to follow the strictest security measures like I said. Setting up a seed phrase is the gateway to your entire portfolio and wallet and therefore if someone has access to your seed phrase, they have access to your wallet. So please guys, I'm stressing it very much. Please write it down carefully. Make sure that you've triple checked the spelling. Make sure that you know exactly where you're putting it and keep it extremely safe. However, once you're ready, you just click I understand and you just go on to the next stage of which is to now write down your secret recovery phrase. Please make sure that you write them down all in correct order. Make sure that you've triple checked the spelling. And like I said, make sure that you haven't stored it on any electronic device and you've only got it on either A, a physical sheet like a piece of paper or B, like a steel sheet, like a piece of metal. 
However, my friends, what you're going to do is you're going to very simply write down these words. And once you're ready, you're just going to click I saved my secret recovery phrase. Next, you're going to click the next button. The next step is to create a password. So guys, please write this down on a piece of paper as well as you're going to need to store this safely. If you forget your password, you'll need your recovery phrase. And if you forget your recovery phrase, then you will never have access to your wallet. So both your password and your recovery phrase are extremely important when setting up a wallet. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to click I agree and then click continue. Voila guys, we are all good. You can even open backpack with shift option and B at the same time. Absolutely awesome. I didn't know we could do that. Or if you wanted to guys, you can go straight to backpack support, backpack over on X or even Discord. Fantastic that they provide us with that on the get go. However, we are now ready to get started with the backpack wallet by depositing some assets. So my friends, as we can see up here, we have now got our wallet set up and we can now completely open up our backpack wallet in order to use it. So guys, as you can see here, we are now back on our backpack wallet, which is fantastic. And from the get go, guys, of course, we now need to get some assets into our wallet because we've got a balance of zero. Now, whether or not you want to use Solana, whether or not you want to use a different network, as you can see, we've got the Solana network prompted up top. If you want to add another network, as you could see before, we've got other networks such as Ethereum, Polygon, and so on. You can even add Base, of which is a Layer 2, Arbitrum, Optimism, Monad, Testnet, Bearer Chain, and you can even search for networks. But let's just say, for example, you wanted to add your Ethereum network as well, you could very simply do so and create a new wallet for Ethereum. However, guys, as you can see here, we've obviously got a balance of zero for Ethereum. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on Solana as that is the main network of the backpack wallet. Now, bear in mind, guys, of course, you can utilize this wallet for any given network of your choice. So just as an example, guys, we are going to be using Solana just like we said. So my friends, are you very simply ready to begin? How do we get started in getting Solana into our backpack wallet? Well, is by using a centralized exchange and other wallets guys such as MetaMask, Phantom and so on have an on and off ramp option. This enables users to buy crypto directly from their wallet. However, the backpack wallet hasn't yet integrated this feature and we will just need to wait for them to integrate this feature before we can use an on ramp option. However, we are going to be using a centralized exchange of which enables users to shift assets from an exchange such as Binance, Bybit, OKX, Crypto.com, you name it, you can withdraw your Solana tokens into your backpack wallet. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Now, you're going to see my phone pop up in a second and you're going to see my exchange account on Crypto.com, which as you can see here, we have now got 0.17 SOL. And this SOL is what we are going to be using to withdraw from our centralized exchange into our backpack wallet. How would one do so? Well, as you can see on the centralized exchange, it says transfer. And once you click transfer, guys, you're going to see two options come up deposit and withdraw. We want to select the withdraw button because the deposit button wants us to deposit tokens into the centralized exchange. We don't want that. We want to withdraw our tokens from the centralized exchange to backpack. So we're going to toggle withdraw. Now, guys, this is going to be replicated across any centralized exchange that you use. So deposit and withdraw will be the two options that you see. And of course, if you are looking to withdraw tokens from an exchange, the withdraw button is the option that you would select. So once you're ready, you then click external wallet. We can see that we need to add another wallet. So up in the top right corner, I'm going to click the plus icon. Now, if we go to the withdrawal method, it asks us which one. So we're going to choose wallet address. And from here, guys, we are now going to select the network of which we want to send to. Of course, that is going to be Solana, but you can also send Sol tokens to the Kronos network, but I'm personally not going to do that. I'm going to do that to the Solana network. So I'm going to be sending Sol from my exchange to Solana on the backpack wallet. However, the next most crucial step. So as you can see here, guys, on my phone, we've got a little barcode option. But on my backpack wallet, what we need to do is very simply get our wallet address. So you can either A, manually get your wallet address by going up into the top of the wallet. As you can see here, we've got the Solana network prompted. On the right of that, guys, it says wallet one. And then next to that is two little boxes. Those two little boxes, if you click that, that is going to copy your wallet address and will enable you to manually paste it into this wallet address section in your centralized exchange. However, if you click the receive button, as you can see here, we can see our wallet address, but we can also see a barcode. So on my phone, I'm going to very simply click the barcode and straight away we can see the barcode comes up and enables us to scan it on our phone so we can easily input our wallet address on the centralized exchange. Fantastic. The next step, you just have to enter the receipt's name. 
details the amount of tokens that you want to send over and in a second guys you will see my soul tokens leave my centralized exchange from crypto.com and enter my backpack wallet now once we go back my friends if we click the little x icon as you can see, my friends, we have now got our 0.17 soul, the equivalent of $28.70 at the time of making this video. And therefore, my friends, we are now ready to explore the Solana ecosystem through our backpack wallet. Now, the first thing I want to show you on this wallet is exactly how to swap. But the cool thing is when you swap with backpack, if you go into the top right corner and click the little gift icon, as you can see here, if you refer, you can swap and earn. So referring friends to backpack and earning 30% of their swap fees. So guys, if you invite your friends by using a referral code, so you can create one down here, as you can see, it is now going to give us a custom referral code of which I'm going to leave down for you guys. We can actually earn 30% from our friends of which you can do if you'd like. Now, I'm going to leave my referral code if you want to use it, guys. It's up to you. You don't have to use it, but I would appreciate it if you do. However, my friends, going back very simply, once you're ready to start swapping tokens, you can go into the swapping section of which you will find right here. Now, once you are ready to swap, as you can see, the top token is going to be Solana because that's the only token that we have. Down below, right below Solana, you can see the token that we want to buy into. Now, it's currently got USDC selected. However, down below, guys, we can see all of the trending tokens on the Solana network, such as Jupiter Exchange, Kohat, AI Rig Complex, Official Trump, Dom Gom, Dog with Hat, Bonk, and so on, guys. So there's so many tokens of which you can see here. But if you want to manually find one, you go to where it says USDC. And here, guys, you'll be able to find all of the tokens available on the Solana network. Or you can very simply search it up top, depending on what you want to buy, obviously. If you want to very simply buy Bonk, you can very simply do so. But if you wanted to swap into USDC, for example, which is a very easy tutorial to do, I'm going to now just swap some Solana tokens into USDC just as a guide. So let's just say I swapped around 0.001. That's around $1.68. Once you are ready, you're going to click this review swap button. And as you can see, it's going to ask you if you are ready to confirm the transaction, of which is going to swap Sol into USDC. Once you're ready, you just click approve. And as you can see, my friends, the transaction is successful. It's as easy as that, and it's as quick as that, and it is as cheap as that. So my friends, as you can see, we've now got our Sol tokens. We've now got our USDC tokens. If by any chance you wanted to sell your tokens back, you go back to swap. You would choose the USDC token up top this time. As you can see, USDC up top and the token down below of which you want to sell into, whether that's Solana or another token. You can select the entire amount, you can very simply swap back, and guys, it is as simple as that. It just takes a matter of seconds in order to swap tokens through Backpack, and it costs pretty much nothing. I absolutely love this platform and wallet all in all. However, the next step, my friends, what can you do from here? Well, this is our token section. Up the top, next to tokens, we've got collectibles. These are going to be your NFTs. Now, of course, we don't have any NFTs in our wallet, but if you wanted to get NFTs, we can show you how to do so in another video. However, on the right of collectibles, we've got activity, and this is going to show all of your network activity through your backpack wallet, showing you all of the transactions that you've ever received, ever sent, ever made on another platform, or even through the backpack wallet, whether that's swapping tokens or even buying an NFT. So as you can see here, guys, these are all the transactions and everything that we've ever done through our backpack wallet. However, the next step, my friends, what I want to show you is the explore section. Now, this is the coolest section in my personal opinion. If you go to the bottom right corner, you'll see a little planet with the explore section. Here, guys, you're going to see some awesome, fantastic protocols in the Solana ecosystem. In fact, the biggest and the best. You've got Jupiter, a leading decentralized exchange aggregator of which we've got tutorials on our YouTube channel. We've got Camino Finance. We've got Arca, Radium, Deck Screener, Tensor, Medeora. Orca, X Combinator, Soul Incinerator, Jupe Dao, and so many others, guys. You can see exactly where I'm going with this. There are literally hundreds of different protocols that you can use and get directed straight through the backpack wallet. I think this is fantastic, guys. And for example, if you were looking for, I don't know, an NFT, you could head over to Tensor. It will take you straight over to the Tensor NFT marketplace of which you would just use your backpack wallet. As you can see, we've got backpack here. And very simply, my friends, you would just explore and just get yourselves an NFT if that's what you wanted to do. If you were looking for, I don't know, to swap tokens through Jupiter Exchange, you can come over here and very simply utilize their platform, whether that is using their spot trading platform or whether that is going straight into the trenches and finding those meme coins. 
Guys, the world is your oyster with the backpack wallet and it's so easy to use. If this is for you, then you know exactly how to use it, guys. It is such a simple guide. And if there are any questions that we haven't answered in this video, you can let us know in the comment section down below. However, I'm very fond of the backpack wallet. In the future, we are going to be further diving into a backpack airdrop guide as they are very much hinting at an upcoming airdrop, which could even be happening in 2025. Nonetheless, guys, that is the backpack wallet in a nutshell. In the future, like I said, we will be making an airdrop guide for backpack but we are also going to be making a tutorial on their backpack exchange this my friends is an awesome unique part of their ecosystem which enables you to buy and sell cryptocurrencies directly through their exchange of which you can buy the world's biggest cryptocurrencies directly through the backpack exchange you can also lend assets you can also do futures you can also get involved in so much more guys the backpack exchange is a wicked platform which we want to show you and we'll do that in a later date but for now, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. If you have any requests for other content, guys, whether that's in the Solana ecosystem, another wallet, or whatever it may be, you can let us know in the comment section down below. But friends, we appreciate every single one of you, and make sure that you've got that subscribe button turned on, make sure that you've got the notification bell turned on, and we can't wait to see you in the next video.